Well, the largest book festival in the state of Michigan gets underway in just under three hours. Of course, we are talking about the Detroit Festival of Books, which is happening at Eastern Markets Shed 5. And this morning, I'm joined by Louie, who's involved with today's festival, and Alice with Birdie's Bookmobile. Thank you both for being with us. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Oh, first, I got to say, the collection of books that you guys brought, absolutely fantastic. This one's catching a lot of attention here. Yes. Mary had a little glam. One of my favorites. I love it. I see a lot of representation in these books. Yes, absolutely. What is so important to you about this festival? What do you, what is, what's so meaningful about it? Um, our founder calls it a community wellness event. It okay. started as um, an outgrowth of the Detroit, um, the book club of Detroit. It became, it started as a um, big book sale basically. Sure. And now it has expanded to include music and artists, uh, comic book authors, collectibles. And now we have programming for kids, and we have organizations that are promoting literacy in the city of Detroit. They're involved, they're raising funds, they're recruiting volunteers. Um, it is a very happy uh, event that celebrates, celebrates Detroit history and culture, and of I course, love that. reading. And a lot of growth as well, clearly, in the last little bit. We went from, I think, 60 vendors or so in 2017. We now have 160. And wow. We, we used to be in shed, just in shed five, and now we're in shed five and parts of shed four, and we're going to have a lot of people in parking lots in the in the parking lot in tents. You know, so. this is a little off tangent, I just read that a new Barnes and Noble is going to be opening up in Metro Detroit. I think it's in Lake Orion, and it got me thinking about how reading habits may have changed after the pandemic to grow more than double since 2016, 2017. 2017. 2017. Yeah. Uh, do you think folks are maybe getting back into into reading actual physical books again? What do you think? What are you seeing? Well, I definitely think children are reading a little bit more maybe than they were previously yeah and I do believe that a lot of it has to do with graphic novels so hundred percent yes the dog men and yes. the captain underpants and all of those but I'm also seeing older children drawn to YA books and books as you were saying with representation books right. where they can see themselves yeah. in these stories and you know you also mentioned that this book festival also celebrates Detroit history and culture you know, when you're reaching new audiences, especially young people, it's so important that they see themselves or they have access to, I mean, there's a wide plethora of books right here. What do you think this opportunity means to have this in one place at Eastern Market, so localized, it's easy access for people to come to? Um, it's free. Uh, the, the, the programming is, especially the programming for kids is free. Um, it, is, it is a happy event. There's music. Um, you see a lot of people just enthused about reading and talking about reading and you can join a book club you can uh, get involved in reading that. to kids it is a, it is a it is a happy event i've never seen somebody in a bad mood at Bookfest, and I've been attending since the first event and I've been involved for the last five years. Even if you start in a bad mood, you find one of these books, you read a chapter or two, mm -hmm. it's going to change it. I, I think it's safe to say we're all bookworms, can we say that? Yes. yes. When did you both develop your love for reading? As a child. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Was there like any particular book or was there any, because I'm wondering, you never know what, what might spark a child's love for literacy. Probably when I was in eighth grade or ninth grade when I realized it wasn't just the books that I had to read for school. Right, that, that right. There was other ones I could read too that, that were you know more to my liking. Mine was uh, Sweet Valley High. Oh. Okay. Do you remember that yes, one yes. with the twins, Elizabeth and Jessica? <laughs> See, it, has, it, it leaves right, a mark. Impact. Yeah. Well, thank you both for being with us in studio. Let's get some of that information again. Uh, it's running today at e Eastern Market. Eastern Market, uh, centered around Shed 5 okay. from 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Uh, there is free parking. You may have to walk a block to, to get there, but the weather is supposed to be very nice. We're going to have the air flowing in because they have these garage doors oh, that perfect. open up. Yeah. It's going to be a beautiful day. We're going to have lots of people, but there's going to be lots of fun stuff to do. There's going to be music, food trucks, events for kids, book activities. Donations. The book science. donations. Book donations. We're Perfect. accepting book donations. The Science Center is doing a pop-up STEM okay. uh, activity. The uh, Arts and Scraps is going to be there for kids can do like crafting. Uh, so from 10 to 4. 10 to so 4. you can get all of this in. Did I say it's free? Yes, it's you free. did. It's and free. absolutely free. And you know, you also talked about how great the day is. I think there's another bookworm in studio who will agree that today's going to be a beautiful day. Right, Ash? 